next battle. Next battle. Cittadini di Roma, behold a sight most splendid. Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli, has at last been brought to heel. Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia. Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us. Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. He's left us Roma. She'll be in good hands. Cesare. Lucrezia... I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. Now that mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem. Should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. Captain General is leaving for Urbino! What a fortuna, Pablo Cesare! Machiavelli is going to be very disappointed. Open her cell! How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That put you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. I can read, Princess? <laughs>
What are you doing here? Paying a visit to the tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere. I love you so. I want to sing it to the heaven. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Cesare found out, who knows what he would do. Are you not newly widowed? He killed my husband. Oh. Cesare has always been jealous of my attentions. But that should not deter us. No. I will keep our secret. Lucrezia, your lips call to me. What was that? I... I'm late for rehearsal. Farewell, my love. I heard the entire exchange, Mia Signora, and can vouch for it. Good. Tell Cesare. We shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, Signora. Please, continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible! Then you leave me no choice. Guards! I cannot leave you out here to cause trouble, so you're coming with me. Scream, however, and I will be forced to take your tongue. Rescuing princesses from castles now? Salute, Lucrezia. How I've missed you. Vai a farti fottere, Troia! Always a pleasure. Bring her here, I'll take the key. Oh, classy. Guards! Guards! <laughs> That's enough out of you! Can you walk? No. I guess we are going out the front. Why save me, Ezio? With Forley taken, I am useless to you. You have a family. It is not your family. That night at the villa, I had to ensure our allegiance to protect Forley. Do you understand, Ezio? E la politica. Of course. I knew it. You did not explain. Caterina. The day. The Cesare. No. My name must still have some small value. I was left unspoiled. Don't you dare! <laughs> Figlio di putana! Never do that to me again. Ezio. Right across the bridge. I will cover you. Go to Isola Tiberina. Find Machiavelli there. He will be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and distract the guards. Get back in one piece, or I will never forgive myself. Go! No mercy for you! Now, Fratelli! Quick! Back to the castle! 
Castello! Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Rigidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene, I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the Castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the Castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forley. I leave to be with my children, and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Victoria gli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini.